Coming up, assurances from the... Plans on rolling out the COVID vaccine and reassurances it will be safe. It will largely fall on GPs to administer the vaccine. We speak to one GP about how that will work. Also this lunchtime. TV Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. England's Deputy Chief Medical Officer tried to reassure us all today that the promising COVID vaccine would be safe to use once it passes all the safety tests. Professor Van Tam has encouraged his elderly mother to have it once it's good to go. But despite the speed of all this, he cautioned against any idea we'd get back to normal by Easter, as our political correspondent Carl Dinnan reports. Well, I'm joined now by one of our regular team of experts, University students will be tested for the virus next month and then given a six day window to travel back to their family homes before Christmas. They will be given rapid COVID tests and teaching will be moved online for the rest of the term. Well, Juliet Bremner is here. Juliet, this is quite an ambitious programme, isn't it? Talk us through it. Yes, it's been called an evac. It won't be spreading as rapidly than sextered, uh, but it won't be available for all 1.2 million students. In fact, they're going to target where it's most needed. Of course, there are all kinds of questions. This is the plan for English. December gives you another two weeks to get home for Christmas. The Prince of Wales has led the tributes to the fallen of past conflicts today on Armistice Day in a special service to mark 100 years since the burial of the unknown warrior. Prince Charles laid a wreath on his tomb at Westminster Abbey. Whoever he was, he is meant to represent everyone lost in war. Graham Stothard reports on the nation's act of remembrance. I'm and Chris, so we just saw their Prince Charles leading the nation's silence today. He'll also be paying the nation's respects in Germany this weekend. All right, Chris, thank you. Extinction Rebellion have faced criticism after staging a protest at the Cenotaph just hours before remembrance services began. Several people have been injured in a blast at a remembrance ceremony in Saudi Arabia. European diplomats have been at the service at a cemetery in Jeddah. French officials say the incident was a bomb attack. Now, a new study has found that exercise is not only good for your physical health, but also your mental health. Over a seven year period, scientists from University College London followed more than 150,000 40 to 69 year olds. They concluded that those who have low aerobic and muscular fitness are nearly twice as likely to experience depression. Oh, what a shame. There are technical problems. We were speaking to Lucy Wyndham Reid there, um, unfortunately. We just couldn't continue with the interview. Hopefully we'll get back to her in a bit. Um, but first, lawyers acting for Britney Spears say she will not perform as long as her father remains in control of her career. The singer lost a legal action to strip Jamie Spears of decision-making powers over her estate. It was appointed as so-called conservator 12 years ago after his daughter's very public breakdown. Faye Barker reports. Ah, now, how early is uh, too early to start getting uh, into the Christmas spirit? Well, after the year we've had, some people think normal rules can now go out the window. One of those people is Dame Joan Collins. Now, there's a reminder of our main stories this lunchtime. In Let's just remind you of our top story this lunchtime. That is that England's Deputy Chief Medical Officer has tried to reassure us all today that the promising COVID vaccine would be safe to use once it's passed all the safety tests. Uh, Professor Van Tam encouraged his elderly mother to have it once it's good to go. But despite the speed of all this, he's of course cautioned against any idea that life might be getting back to normal any time soon. And that is all this lunchtime. Mary is here with the ITV Evening News at 6.30 um, with the day's latest developments on the vaccine and of course the rest of the day's news. The news where you are follows the national weather. But for now, from everyone here on the lunchtime team, bye-bye.
Hello again. Now the main stories in London. And among thousands across the capital marking Armistice Day this morning was London D-Day veteran Richie Forrest, who chose to pay his respects at Victoria Station, where the body of the unknown warrior arrived in 1920. Well, Police are searching the men's bathing pond in Hampstead Heath as part of a murder investigation after a man disappeared eight years ago. 37 there is no way Nora Quarren would have intentionally climbed out of a window in a Malaysian holiday resort, her mum told the inquest into her death today. Nora's the big issue say they've lost more than a million pounds in funding because of the pandemic and need urgent help to their, for their sellers in the run-up to Christmas. The magazine has been providing Heathrow Airport has seen passenger numbers drop for the eighth month in a row. The number of people... All right, weather now. Here's Sally. And that is all from us for now. I'm back here at six. Until then, whatever you're doing, enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye. Coming up, 30 police officers arrive to close down a gym, breaking lockdown. We're live in Wood Green, plus Croydon goes bankrupt. Tonight, the North London gym refusing to close during lockdown. Good evening. Despite clear government advice that gyms must close, a gym owner in North London is refusing to shut the doors. That's despite a £1,000 fine and repeated visits from the council and police. More than 30 officers were there last night and again this morning. But tonight, Andreas Michley is still encouraging members to attend. Martin Stew reports. Croydon Council has gone bust, blaming the pandemic and a decade of austerity, with its leader also accept, accepting the local authority has made mistakes. It's the only council in London to admit it can't balance its books. Well, our political correspondent Simon Harris is here. Simon, how has it come to this? Well, look, Reds here, it's uh, very rare for any council to go bust like this, but according to the Conservative MP for Croydon, well, for now, there won't be any cuts to existing services, so the bins will still be collected. The sculpture. All right, Simon, thank you. Police are searching a pond on Hampstead Heath as part of a murder investigation dating back almost eight years. They believe the body of Robert Duff may be concealed there. He went missing in 2013 after failing to turn up to his daughter's birthday party. His family spoke to Sam Holder. The mother of Nora Quarren heard a voice inside the family chalet the night her daughter went missing in Malaysia and inquest heard. Maeve, so what was said, Graham? Well, today we heard from her mother. Now, bear in mind, this is 15 months on. Thank you. Heathrow Airport has seen passenger numbers drop for the eighth month in a row. The number of the majority of black people feel their human rights are not equally protected compared to white people, according to the findings of a damning report which has focused on the treatment of different ethnicities across education, crime and health care. Still to come. But first, 100 years ago today, the body of an unknown warrior was brought to London from the battlefields of France to be buried at Westminster Abbey and has come to represent the sacrifice of hundreds of thousands of soldiers. At a monument near Victoria Station earlier, a D-Day veteran returned to the place where the soldier arrived. Official commemorations were scaled back this year, but while most people were apart at 11 a.m., it was a chance to pause and remember together. Carolyn Sim reports. Next tonight, music, and he went from choir boy to household name. Now, Ali Jones is releasing his 40th album it's called blessings and features a number of collaborations well one is with 94 year old d-day veteran harry billinge i'm going to talk to alan in just a moment but first here's a listen well the itv news continues with the national and international stories at 6 30. here's a look at what's happening with mary well, Sally is here. And Sally, we just cannot believe it, but obviously he became famous, well, we hit the big time with his Christmas hit, didn't he? And you met someone today who's hoping for similar success. Yes. Oh, Sally, a beautiful song, the beautiful yeah. voice there. I know, she's amazing. Oh. Now, you've also got the story of a rescue and a very cute rescue. I know, yeah. I hope you're feeling robust. Yes, <laughs> like jokes, always good. Thanks, that's why they don't pay me the big bucks. Here's the weather. And that is it for now. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.